this team is starting to go downhill in more ways than than one. Shout out to Joey Shakes and shout out to W uh, ninety four WIP and everybody that's talking about Jeffrey Lurie at this point. I, I wasn't gonna make a video about it, but I really felt like I just needed to because it frustrates me beyond belief that this is where we're at. Three years removed, not even three years removed from the Super Bowl win that we had in February 2018. This is where we're at. Jeffrey Lurie, who you know you know who he is, one of the better owners in the league. He's always a part of the team, loves to do stuff for the city and for the fans. He does he wants to put out something great for us all the time. All, all the time. And it took a while, but eventually he got us that championship, of course. But now, little less than three years later, he is frustrated and is not even showing up to games anymore. He didn't show up to the Browns game. He's been walking out of equal practices because he is disgusted and frustrated with how poorly they've been playing and how poorly they look as a team. And... <laughs> Oh my god. And I If there's one thing that I can say about Jer uh, Jerry Jones despite how terrible he is as an owner because of his ego, he's never not shown up to a, pla a practice or a game no matter how much the Cowboys have struggled. That's one thing that I can say about him right now. And Jeffrey Lurie, it, it's it must be that bad. It really must be that bad that Jeffrey Lurie has to walk out on his own team during practices and not even show up to games. Especially games like against the Browns of all teams, you know? I'm not, not dissing on the Browns or anything, but I'm just saying. That says a lot. What does that say about our coaching staff? What does that say about our players? Our players and coaches, everybody, the entire organization, the personnel that he has invested years with. I mean, <laughs> where are we going from here? Where are we going to go from here after this year? Of course, this year hasn't been, you know, the year everybody wanted it to be. Of course, the pandemic has really, you know, made everything crazy. The Broncos right now are going into this upcoming game tomorrow without a starting quarterback. They're they're panicking trying to find a quarterback right now off their practice squad because all three of the starting quarterbacks on the on the active roster have contracted COVID-19. This year is fucked. This year is fucked in more ways than one for a lot of these teams. Baltimore and Seattle right now, or Seattle, Baltimore and Pittsburgh right now are dealing with their own cases as well. They had to skip out on Thanksgiving because of it. And they had to play on Sunday night instead. And now you have Jeffrey Lurie with the dysfunctional Eagles team who right now, we don't know how good, we don't know where they're at right now. We really don't. We don't know where we're at with the quarterback. We don't know where we're at with our head coach, with our defensive coordinator, with our GM, Howie Roseman. We're losing offensive linemen left and right. We're, we're just, sooner or later, this, this team is going to just implode. And how much longer are we going to have to wait through this? How, how many more weeks is it going to be until we really start to accept that we need to rebuild and we need to start fresh again? <laughs> because right now, the, things are not going great whatsoever. And... There are no excuses for it, and I think Jeffrey Lurie is starting to understand that, and he's starting to see that something has to be done. And he, if there's anybody that's going to make something happen, it's going to be him. Last year, despite what Doug Peterson said about Carson Walsh and Mike Groh staying and not being fired, the next day after Doug Peterson says that, he fired them and made Doug go out there and look like an idiot and make up some story to fix what he had actually said. That's where we're at right now. I don't think Jeffrey Lurie has any trust in his coaches whatsoever. I don't think he has any trust in Carson Wentz and this and this this organization right now with the way that it is built, the way that the foundation of this built this organization that's been built. I don't think he believes in it anymore. Let me know your thoughts on this and I'll see you guys later. Fly was fly and as always, peace out y'all.